iceonthelanding.com. I heard on the radio coming in to work this morning somebody who had called in uh, to a local station sharing five things that she was thankful for. And I thought, you know, that's a great thing for all of us to take time to do, if not every day, at least periodically to kind of center yourselves again. And before you know it, you realize how many blessings you do have in your life. And I think we, this time of year, we tend to see those blessings spilling over by the generosity that y'all share every year as Share Your Christmas for the Chattanooga Area Food Bank. Jennifer Lockwood decided to pay us a visit virtually this morning to give her own issuance of thanks. Good morning to you, Jennifer, and Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year to you. Y'all do see it every year, don't you, how generous people around here are? We could not be more grateful and thankful for this generous, very generous Chattanooga community. Cherry Christmas was the best yet this year. So I know you said to me when you and I were kind of getting things set up, you said, you know, I hate to come on and have the same message every time. And yet the truth of the matter is, Jennifer, the need continues. So it's great to see that huge donation come in in December, but January 1 rolls around and the need is still there. Yes, every every day, you know, we work to, to solve hunger and we do the best that we can and then we get up the next morning and we start all over again. It's, it's definitely not going anywhere. Unemployment continues to rise. We continue to see sustained and increased demand. So you were telling me that uh, you were very happy to get another round of help from the USDA because it's not just that you're wanting to put food on the table when you can, you want it to be healthy food and that's what this, is it called Farm to Families Help? Food? Yes. Um, USDA announced another round of the Farm to Families program. Farm to Families program um, supplies fresh produce, uh, meats, proteins to food banks around the country. And then we in turn turn that around and, and serve it to our clients. So um, is that something that you had to apply for? And do they, do they look pretty closely at how y'all operate as a food bank? I mean, does every food bank get this opportunity or are y'all lucky to get it? We are lucky to get it. Um, it was offered to all food banks um, and you choose, each individual food bank chooses whether to participate or not. Gotcha. So um, it's not really fun either when, when money is tight for a lot of folks and you realize that to then come on and say we sure could use your donations because you don't want to not acknowledge the hardship that a lot of people are suffering. So you're also needing volunteer hours if someone's able to help. Absolutely, yes. We can't do it alone, and it takes more than just um, money and food. We, we need volunteers. We've opened up additional Saturday spots. We've opened up additional evening spots on Tuesday evenings. Um, we need volunteers during the day. Volunteers help us sort. They help us pack. They help us distribute food boxes. One way to kind of put it into perspective is just one volunteer hour supplies 92 meals. Wow, wow. That's almost yeah. more impressive than $1 buying four meals. Both four are meals. wonderful <laughs> numbers. And I think I've been told in the past, I'm not sure you've been the one to tell me, but somebody has, that often the volunteers who are there have been recipients of the food bank's generosity. Yes, we hear that time, from time to time in that there's someone that has come and gotten food from us before and then they've gotten back on their feet and now they're ready to pay it forward and come here and help those people that were in that same situation that they had been in previously. It is really a wonderful story to hear when, when you hear that. And, but yes, yes, we have that. And probably most people who are watching have heard the story before and that's great, but for anyone who hasn't, and he or she might be needing some assistance, kind of walk us through the process of coming to get food and to get some help because it's a no questions asked process. Absolutely. If you live here in Hamilton County, you can call 211, that's United Way, and they'll give you a virtual voucher number. You'll just bring that voucher to the, the number to the food bank and we'll supply you with about 100 pounds of, of shelf stable food, produce, meat if we have it, dairy if we have it. That's a lot of food. So um, when you're talking too about the volunteers that you could use, 
If you happen to be a local business or restaurant, something like that, where you might have some ways to supply you um, with, with inventory, can people do that or do you need to be careful where you get the food from? Absolutely, we take donations every day. Right now during COVID, we're um, quarantining that food for two weeks before we distribute it. But absolutely, we are still taking donations. Well, it's no wonder every time we talk to you, you have a smile on your face because you must feel great having your feet hit the floor going to work for an organization like the Food Bank every day. I do love working here, but I love most that I get to see that we're making changes every day in people's lives. Well, thank you for sharing some time with us this morning, Jennifer. If people want to volunteer with you, is the best thing to call or should they go online? Go to our website, www.chatfoodbank.org slash get involved. There There's you tons go. of places to sign up. Very good. Can't think of a better way to begin 2021 than by yes. giving back. Thanks, Jennifer, and Happy New Year to you. Thank you, Julie. Wake up with Hardee's. Hardee's new $3 hotcake breakfast sandwich. A full breakfast nestled between two sweet hotcakes.